All right. <laughs> hey, we're on the couches here with the birds. Just kidding. They for fools. It's B Colony, Fort Wayne, Indiana. What's up? How's it going? It's going good. All right. Who are you? And uh, what do you play? Bray Coffin. I'm the drummer with the B Colony. My name is Atticus Sorrell. I'm the lead guitar player and vocalist. Uh, Zach Trayoun, keyboards, guitars. Same, but add a vocal to that. You're Zach Trayoun. I'm Jacob Trayoun. I'm Wes Johnson. Brothers. I play bass. So, uh, how did B Colony become a band? Mm -hmm. James. 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 Yeah, it was. Uh, I met Jacob in college, and. I was in a band with him at the time, and then we started doing projects and stuff together. And we stole them from And then band. we, yeah, basically we got stolen from the other band, and we formed our own band. Because we were kind of in a little yeah, recording little Yeah, they were thing. in a little band thing, and then we just kind of combined forces. Yeah. And it's jammed in the basement for some time, and then slowly but surely started playing some shows, and... Yeah. Recording and doing all that. Yeah, we should like we should do something with this. Yeah. <laughs> what about the name? That was a struggle. That was a real struggle. It was about a ten-page packet. We took uh, <laughs> at least five hours, but split up over several days, and then mm -hmm. a long band meeting. I think just crossing them off one by one. I think when we all agreed on it, we called Atticus up, and, yeah, and we yeah. were like, "Hey, what about this?" He's like, "That's it." And, and everyone else around? That might have just been him being tired of going to an <laughs> Well, know. partially. Anything, just name the band. <laughs> it's, about, it's about existing, though. Yeah, the B. It's, it's a, a B. B -E. To yeah, exist in the now and the current moment. But it's also just a one from it's a, a broadcast song. Yeah, it's a song. Thought it looked cool. All right. Well, so tell me about some of your influences. Who do you listen to? What do you, oh, what do you like? Lies. How much time do you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could be here for a couple days. Uh, you can go around. Yeah. That question I never know how to answer. But yeah, you started off with. <laughs> well, you started with Brave. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. All right. Um, as far as old stuff, we got like David Crosby, Joni Mitchell, Miles Davis. A lot more modern stuff. Um, Jordan Mackay, Mackay McCraven. Hiatus Coyote, a lot of like trippy, neo soul, jazzy hip hop. Yep. It's basically like, yeah, a lot of old school classic rock and so like, I mean, Beatles, Zeppelin, the name brand stuff, Floyd, but then also like the San Francisco psychedelic scene, Quicksilver Messenger Service, mm. um, Moby Grape, mm. uh, Santana, um, but then like, Curtis Mayfield, Shuggy Otis, Funkadelic, Al Green, all the soul and funk people. Um, Quasimodo. Quasimodo, <laughs> Mad Lib, Jay Dilla, as far as the hip hop goes. It's a little more recent. Yeah, a little more recent. And then, like, maybe Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock. Uh, could keep going. <laughs> <laughs> On this side of the couch, it's probably a little more modern alternative, like My Morning Jacket, Flaming Lips, Wilco. All right. Yeah, like. Uh, Oh, oh, Simon Day. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Dog. Yeah. Pretty much. Dude, I haven't listened to this new band called Alvin. Crumb. Crumb. Yeah. Alvin. Michael Quantico. Yeah. Uh, Michael Charles Bradley. Luca, or however you say. Yeah. It. I don't know how to say. It. Charles Bradley. A lot of alternative rock, classic rock, psychedelia. Tim Paul. Groove, pretty much. Groove, yeah. funk, soul, even hip hop, country, jazz. It's just too many. Yeah, I get in country. Radiohead. Yeah, Radiohead. Yeah. Radiohead's a big deal. We recently covered a couple of their tunes for. Semi high profile gig, I would say, but yeah. Yeah. hopefully we did them some justice. Hopefully. All right, awesome. It's been enough time on it. Well, it's uh, it's Easter today, right? Yeah. You and guys, Pools. you guys get any candy? No. Yeah. Oh, my mom got me some candy. Yeah, dude, I got, I got some Reese's <laughs> peanut butter cups and uh, a case of High Life. Oh, you got some good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some candy for you right here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. I think Thank you. There's also some prizes inside. Oh, sweet! Oh. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Jello buns. Jello buns. And uh, speaking of albums, you guys were just talking about influences. You guys got releases out? Where'd you record at? What are you working on right now? Uh, well, the last release was a single yeah, with Bye Bye. Yeah, with the, we did a split single with the Indianapolis band Bye Bye. Mm -hmm. And they recorded at Postal in Indy, and then we recorded at Off the Cuff Sound in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's this like all analog studio in this farmhouse. 
And um, we recorded two songs. And then we also recorded in like an EP, like six song thing at the same place. That was our first. Few years. Right, a year earlier. Sure. Or something. And then uh, we're recording in my basement. Uh, yeah, we're getting ready to start some tape and digital. Yeah, we're gonna do some home recording and, and mix it. And mix it between. Uh, we're doing a little bit of analog tape and a little bit of digital, and then we're gonna mix it and produce it. So we're probably gonna have a full length album, hopefully in the next six months. Hopefully. Hopefully two full length albums. Just yeah. one will be yeah. released a lot later, probably. Yeah, if we can set up in the basement, we're hoping we can just have a consistent uh, output. Got a lot of stuff on the back burner for that. <laughs> yeah, we probably have a catalog of almost three albums yeah. of stuff on the back burner. Yeah, and play then a lot if you of don't count like all the jams and shit that we have, decent amount of it. We yeah. probably have like 500 songs, but like, I mean, only a fraction of that is actually like song songs. You know? Yeah, my iTunes library is a lot. We just like we we record a lot of stuff, and then we end up like, I mean, a lot of it's probably just trash or us like all. You know, I'm drunk or whatever, like partying and like, <laughs> you know. But we we seem we always write material. We're always con like something doing something. Funny. Yeah, we usually jamming. Usually jamming, and we just like cross genres all the time. Like we kind of just like whatever we feel like. Sometimes we'll be playing rock music. Sometimes we'll be like acid jazz. Sometimes we'll try to do hip hop. Sometimes we try to do some country shit, whatever. Like we try to do hip hop. We try to do hip hop. <laughs> That first song we did was the closest one. Let's do the five. So the songwriting is pretty collaborative between the five of you? Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes it's between one person brings a song, sometimes two people are helping develop it, and sometimes yeah. the whole band is developing. Yeah. yeah. We also have their oldest brother, uh, Chris Rubel, does a lot of other yeah, yeah, lyrics. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So who are some of your favorite local Indiana bands that you play with in Fort Wayne? Um, we got, Viseria like, killed it. Yeah, time. Viseria was really cool. Yeah, they're from really Indy. Cool. Um, Bye Bye is cool. Uh, Played with the herd. They're the really herd, cool. but they're from Chicago. They're not even so, anymore though. Um, as far there's a four way group called Nick Cap Vigilantes, but yeah, they're, they're no longer a band anymore. anymore. Yeah, well, it's like playing shows that happens. Yeah, the jokes. Yeah, Street Lester Spotlights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played a lot of shows with Heaven's Gateway Drugs. So. Mm -hmm. That's like. The other main psychedelic band. Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. Yeah. But, um, I'm trying to think. I think they're getting a lot of out of town collaboration. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like we almost play with the uh, regional acts more than Fort Wayne bands yeah. at the bars sometimes. We've played with a lot of bands from Chicago. Brass Rail is pretty good at bringing, about bringing outside bands in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, upcoming shows. You guys playing shows next couple of months or so? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, they know I the dates better than me. I don't, I don't know the schedule. Hey, I don't know the dates. Um, we have a couple dates in April. One. Uh, like the tenth. Square Cat. Square Cat. Yeah. That's April thirteenth. April thirteenth. A Square uh, Square Cat vinyl and indie. We're yeah. playing our uh, our favorite local record shop, Nee Nee Nee, on the yeah. 28th. Yep, 28th. Oh, yeah, they got that new Hi-Fi lounge over there. Yep. And we'll have gonna, a great week in May, yeah. And we're going to be up here in August for this, like, music festival. I'm not sure yeah. much about I'm not sure about it. I thought that was in Indy. Great. No, it's in Michigan. Oh. Yeah, somewhere. We do have one in Indy, though. We're doing a run um there's a new venue called the Clyde Theater in town, so we'll yeah. have that, and that same week we'll be in Columbus, and then at the uh, Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Avenue, Avenue Festival in Medicine. Yeah. 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 All right, sounds like lots of cool shows coming up. Oh, yeah. And where can I go to find out more about you guys? Like, what's w the best spot? www.thebeacolony.com. Yeah. Website. Or, or yeah. Facebook, Facebook Instagram. Instagram, whatever. We're on, we're on the stuff. Still. All right. Well, thanks for coming in today, guys. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us, man. It's fun. Great to have you. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Thanks for the candy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> enjoy. Yeah, that's Happy awesome. Easter. Happy awesome. Easter. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a kazoo? I tried. Oh, it doesn't work. Slow into it. <laughs> <laughs> that's going on the next album. <laughs>